So I'm a huge fan of Unihertz. They have been bold and aggressive to get their devices out there. So I've had the pleasure to review in almost all their devices from the Titan all the way to the Tank, which is one of my daily drivers. Well, Unihertz is not taking the foot off the gas pedal. So introducing their latest offering, the new Jelly Star. So let's talk about the new Unihertz Jelly Star. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So this device right here, the Jelly 2, I've been using this device for the past year, keeping my SIM card in it and rocking it as I need it. It's a very small compact device. Well, Unihertz is not stopping, right? Here is the new Jelly Star, taking some cues from the Unihertz Luna, right? With its LED back, and this device is, they got a lot of stuff going on with this device. So let's talk a little bit more about their new Jelly Star. Let's talk about the specs. The Jelly Star has a 3.03 inch display with the G99 processor. We got eight gigs of RAM in this one, 256 gigs of storage. We got SD card support, dual SIM support. Now, as far as the cameras, uh, on the back, you got a 48 megapixel single camera, and in the front, you got an eight megapixel camera. Now, as far as video, this device can shoot 2K 30 frames per second in the rear, in 1080p 30 frames per second in the front now powering the jelly star you have a 2000 milliamp battery now this device is running android 13 to boot finally the jelly star comes in at a introduction price of 220 bucks i will leave all product links down in the description below so the jelly star has a lot of extras such as sd card support dual sim support nfc you got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a IR blaster, a rear mounted fingerprint scanner that's very fast. You have face unlock, USB OTG support, a FM radio. Also, you uh, this is Bluetooth 5.3 here. You got an install uh, screen protector, a power brick in the box, and a lot of stuff like that. So yes, this device is featured packed. So let's go over the Jelly Star. As you can see, it comes with a case in the box, which is really nice. When you're looking at the device, it's very tiny. Look on the right side, you got your uh, power button here. Uh, you also have a extra button here that you can program. You got your volume, uh, this is a uh, SIM slot here. You have your charging port. Uh, on this side, you got your volume up and down. Uh, and at the bottom, you got a speaker grill. And at the top, you got the IR blaster and the microphone. And on the back, you do have that camera array and you have a fingerprint scanner, which is really fast. You also have your LED lights right here, which is really nice. Now the LED lights can be programmable, right? And uh, this say, for instance, uh, watch a movie. Okay, and uh, let's go here. Let me see if I can pull up a quick movie. One of my favorites. All right. And uh, so let's turn the volume down a little bit. Uh, turn it up a little bit so it can give it that effect. All right. And here it is, right? So if you are watching the movie, you get a light show. 
right? You get a nice little light show. Now, again, this all could be programmable. Uh, and uh, actually, the, the speakers on here is a pretty loud. Let me turn up this a little bit so y'all guys can hear the speakers here. Visual. Look at that. With the G99 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, with Android 13, with this very small display, performance here is really good. Now, look, make sure we understand something here, right? This device is too small for hardcore gaming, but it's possible to play games on the Jelly Star. All right, guys, so here it is. This is the Jelly Star. Man, I absolutely love these small compact phones. Uh, the original Jelly 2 that I have is a device that I really keep in, in and out of my rotation uh, because it's so small and compact. Uh, and I use it a lot just to make phone calls. The long battery life is really good on it uh, and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, man, these phones here come in handy. And I'm loving what Unihertz is doing, man. I mean, it's a it's a company that's being bold, going out of the box, doing something different, uh, and uh, I'm I'm loving it, man. I, I I absolutely love it. So this is gonna be the camera. I got it at 2K. Uh, it doesn't have optical image stabilization, but it does have EIS. Uh, and I'm out here at the park. I'm looking at the, the viewfinder, and it look okay, you know, it's not so bad, it looks okay. Okay, so look at that. Uh, and uh, turn here, let's go to do some walking here. Look at that, beautiful. Not so bad for a little bitty compact phone, huh? <laughs> not so bad at all. Chosen. So I've been using the Jelly Star for about a week. And again, a bit over $200. It brings a lot to the table. So let's talk about some pros and cons here with this device. A lot more pros and cons, but you know what? Let's talk about some of the pros. First, the performance. The performance is really good coming from the Jelly 2 going to the Jelly Star. Look, going through the OS is a breeze, right? Opening up apps, again, is fast and fluid. No issues here uh, with the performance of the Jelly 2. Next, let's talk about the design. You got the transparency back with the LED light that bring flavor to this device. So that is really good. Next, let's talk about some of the extras. You got a headphone jack, dual SIM support, SD card support, and more. IR blaster. I mean, this thing is feature pack, right? It, which is really nice. That is a pro for this device. Next, battery life is outstanding with countless of hours of on-screen time and days by days and days of standby time. So you know what? That is really good. Also a pro, this device coming in above a little, a hair over $200. That's a pro because you get a lot for $200 brand new. So that's the pros. But as you know, no device is perfect. So let's talk about some kinds or opportunities for Unihertz. First, this is a 4G device. Don't know why Unihertz is stuck in the 4G era. I mean, this is a GSM 4G device, just so you know. Uh, so that is an opportunity for the next device for Unihertz. And updates. Listen, every time I review a Unihertz device, I always talk about updates and support. That's something that Unihertz has to figure out. Listen, we get so, we get security patches, which is good, but OS updates is even better. Hopefully, it, uh, Unihertz will get better with OS updates, especially with the Jelly Star. So this is the Jelly Star 2023. Look, be on the lookout for more videos uh, of the Unihertz Jelly Star. That's what I'm talking about. I really like this device. It's a fun device to use. 
and you got a lot of extras for a little above $200, which is nice. This is Earth the Tech Preacher. I got more coverage of the Jelly Star coming soon. So stay tuned and subscribe. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.